Hi, this is Ian with Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions. Today we are looking at the EZ10, and as we can tell, there is no paper in here, and we are going to reload the paper. So, first thing we're going to do is squeeze on either side of this door. There's two little buttons. When you press those, this door will pull off. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab by the button and just kind of pull out a little bit, and the whole printer will slide out as such. Once you have that printer out, we're going to take the new paper, make sure it is rolled over the top and not underneath. With it rolled over the top, um, we're going to slide that on. If there is a roll, a core that's in there, go ahead and remove that. We're going to take the paper and slide it up in. As you notice, the paper light goes off and we're going to assist the paper upwards while holding the feed button. You'll notice paper starts coming out the front. Once it has came out the front a little bit, you can push the printer back into place and slide your cover back on. You wanna make sure you get that feed button all the way through. We're going to now do a check to make sure this printer is working right. So we're going to turn the unit off at the front, press and hold the feed button and turn the unit on. Once it starts printing, it is going to go through and print an entire cutout. Once the paper has gone through its test print, I'm just going to press that button, let it roll out a little bit more. This will ensure the printer is working correctly. That is how you do a paper change and a printer test on a EZ10 or EZ9. The printout will look something like this. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 704-966-1650, option three for free tech support, and please like and subscribe. Thank you.